You know, coming up, if you suffer from chronic sinus infections, then this little teeny device could be the answer to your problems. And guess where it goes? Up your nose. We're going to explain all of it after the break. Advancing this stent into the sinus, and basically once the, the stent is in good position, we're releasing the guide and the stent stays in place. We had a lot of questions asking about the latest technology in sinus relief, and today we have a solution that may be right for you. And here to tell us all about the latest development in sinus relief is Dr. Brian Weeks from Alvarado Hospital Senta Clinic in San Diego, California, as well as his patient. Anya, welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You know, doctors can talk about sinusitis and polyps all the time, and, and as we know, the sinuses are those air spaces that we have around our nasal passages, in our mid-face. Unfortunately, though, they, they, they get inflamed very easily, whether it's viruses, bacteria, allergies. A lot of people suffer from chronic sinusitis, and in bad cases, polyps. So, Anya, I guess you were working as a flight attendant, right? And uh, your sinus problems were particularly bad. You want to tell us about your symptoms? I had chronic inflammation, was chronically on medication, be it over-the-counter medication or antibiotics, uh, headaches, allergies, head you name it. It was just miserable. So, Dr. Weeks, why was your new uh, sinus balloon surgery ideal for Anya? Yeah, I think it's perfect for Anya for many reasons, but her case is a pretty typical case that I would see with a lot of patients. Traditional sinus surgery, many times she's had at least one previous surgery, and she really was suffering. And so I thought I felt she was an ideal candidate for some of the newer things that we're utilizing, kind of a, a futuristic or, or an innovative approach to treating sinus problems. So can you show us what, what exactly you did? I sure will. Well, what we did with Anya initially was we started by using this balloon, as we've talked about before, a sinuplasty technique where we place the balloon up into her sinuses. In this uh, situation, Anya was really suffering from frontal sinus disease particularly. We dilated or expanded the drainage opening of the frontal sinus. And then what we did, what was, which was really interesting, was we took this device, and this is a sinus stent. What this is designed for is to be placed in that drainage opening and to sit in place and allow that to heal in an open position. Interestingly, it has a reservoir or a valve at the end of it, which is originally utilized to just fill with saline. And as innovators, what we realized was we could put drugs inside of that and allow those drugs to be delivered through that stent. I think of it as basically it's cardiology in the nose. Cardiologists have been doing this right, for years. We stents for blood vessels to keep them open, so it's a similar kind of. Uh, That's exactly technology. right, and. and and it's, you know, it's basically delivering drug to the affected area in the sinuses in a way that we've never really been able to do that Either. before. So in this animation here, we have um, a guide catheter that's placed inside the nose. We're advancing this stent into the sinus. And basically, once the, the stent is in good position, we're releasing the guide and the stent stays in place. We're trimming it inside the nose. And that's an example, as you can see those little openings, of where the drug or the saline will drain through to treat the sinuses. And that device, interestingly, would be removed in the nose or from the nose at 28 days after surgery in the office with local anesthesia. So it's not painful, and it can be taken out without any difficulty. And Anya, how are you doing? 100% better. None of the problems I had before are there anymore. Everything is gone. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Thank you both for being here. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Coming up.